there are some problems which are expected generally from job seekers and sometime asked during viva out of which fevunikai series most common program hello friends i am reet agarwal and in this video we will learn to develop fevunikai series before developing this program let's understand fevunikai series and logics behind this program friends you are looking fevunikai series on your screen let's understand what is the meaning of fevunikai series there are few terms written over here 0 plus 1 becomes 1 that is the third term of fevunikai series if we add 1 plus 1 we will get the value of 2 again if we add 1 and 2 we will get 3 likewise if we add 2 and 3 we will get value 5 in the similar fashion we will get the other terms of the fibonacci series you are looking a fibonacci series on the screen let's understand there are two variables a and b a is initialized by 0 and b is initialized by 1 if we add the value of a and b we will get the third term of the fibonacci series and that will be stored in c after that copy the value of b to a and then copy the value of c to b add again the value of a and b and that will be stored in the variable c it is the fourth term of the fibonacci series in the similar fashion we will get the entire fibonacci series i hope you understand the logic to develop the fibonacci series let's understand with the help of coding how can we develop the fibonacci series here i am trying to develop the code to print the fibonacci series without using loop suppose there is a class named fibonacci i am writing public static void main inside the main function i am taking three variables of integer type as i told you just while ago there are three variables a b and c the variable a is initialized by 0 because we have to print the first term and value the variable b is initialized by value 1 that is the second term of the series then print the value of a and b after printing the value b we have to get the third value for getting the third term of the fibonacci series i am just adding the value of a and b and then print friends if we are not using a loop then we have to repeat few line of code again and again like a is equals to b b is equals to c then c is equals to a plus b to get the next term of the fibonacci series print the value of c now i have to repeat this code to get the next term next term and next term so here through this code we will get the terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 through this code we will get the seven terms of the fibonacci series let's save it and then then compile we are at the path where we have saved this file to compile java c fibonacci dot java being compiled run fibonacci enter yeah we get these terms 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 if suppose we have to print this series up to 89 or more than 89 
should we repeat these code several times no it will be more tedious or troublesome task and it will get more time so avoid this thing to avoid this situation the only option is that using loop to use the loop i just put the repeated code inside the while loop in while loop i am just giving the condition c is less than 89 because we have to print the value of c repeat repeated code is given inside the loop body i am just removing the remaining code so you can see now code has been reduced up to few lines and now i am saving this file and compile this file again run this file wow we got the result as required so friends through this video you could get the way to develop the fibonacci series in my next video i'll explain another important program for interview purpose and for viva also i have one question for you can you make this program of fibonacci series in the reverse order okay try to make this program and i'll explain this in my next video thanks a lot